Hey guys, it's Marley from Kale and Crunches. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have the stunning Steph G of G Beauty Studios. She is an amazing entrepreneur and girl boss extraordinaire, and she is gonna help me with one of my biggest problems, which is I don't know how to do makeup. I mean, we already know this, so today she's gonna give me a natural face, just get my glow on, show me what to do, because you guys know I am a complete makeup noob. Steph is gonna help me today with a natural look. And normally, you're just gonna cringe when I do my own makeup. It's like super light concealer mm -hmm. and then like paste the bronzer on to the point that I was noticing I was getting like dark patches in between my brow. My face was completely flat because I don't know how to contour. Um, and I just really, like I don't own blush. So, you know, that's what we're starting with here. Love it. So I'm all about dual action. So everything I show you, you're gonna learn how to use it in two different ways. I'm gonna teach you how to naturally contour with concealer. I do believe in blush. Okay. And I'm gonna make sure that your skin is glowing and also all of the makeup I'm gonna be using on you is mineral based, so you could work out if you wanted to. So amazing. I'm so <laughs> happy about that. <laughs> okay, let's get that, started. Amazing. So first I'm gonna cleanse your skin with a little bit of cleansing water. Even after we wash our face in the morning, we just wanna make sure that we get rid of all the extra bacteria or oil from sleep or from traveling, working out, pollution, etc. Next, to set your skin, we're gonna do a little bit of a hydrating serum. Again, oil-free, and this will just help act as a base before you apply makeup to your skin. First things first is I generally like to start with your eyes. That way, if you make a mistake on your skin, we can clean it up and we won't have to start all over. So, like I mentioned, I'm all about dual action. So this is our concealer stick in medium peach. Peach as a color is gonna counteract any blue, red, or dark undertones. So I'm gonna apply the medium peach concealer all over to the eyelid, and that way that's gonna conceal any blue undertones, and it's also gonna act as a primer before I apply eyeshadow. So I don't know about you, Marley, but I really believe in brushes. Brushes allow for a smooth application and they'll also avoid you using your hands to touch your face. So the reason we don't wanna do that is because our hands have oil, bacteria, and brushes actually make the application a lot faster. So I always tell our clients that even if you don't wanna wear eyeshadow, I would still recommend putting concealer on because it will just make your eyes look really open. Ooh, I love that tip. Everything I do is dual action. So next I'm gonna use our O3 highlighter powder that we're later gonna use on your face, but I'm gonna use it as your eyeshadow. Okay. So I take a really fluffy crease brush and I take this on the base of your eyelid. So because this is an everyday look, I'm only gonna do one color on your eyelid because that's what's realistic. Mm -hmm. But I am gonna show you how to do eyeliner. Oh, I just, again, I can't do that. You think 31 years old, like I know how to do makeup. We're here to learn. We're here to we learn. don't judge, we we're never too old to learn. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna be using a green on you. Sometimes we think we should use black, but black can actually be a little bit heavy. Brown would also be beautiful, but I'm really into green lately. The color is called Ivy. I always like to make sure that it's nice and sharp before I apply it. And this is also a gel pencil, so it will almost glide onto your eyelid and it won't be challenging to apply. So if you could close your eye for me. Essentially what I do is I paint into the eyelashes and eventually glide it across. So let's say you're doing your eyeliner Marley and you mess up. The really nice thing about our makeup, because it's mineral base, is that you can move it. So you could take your finger and smudge it all through and you could have a smoky eye. Next, I'm gonna curl your lashes. Do you ever do this? So I got a lash curler last year. Amazing. And I'm like a professional now. Love it. A lash curler. So I'm not sure <laughs> if you already use this as a tip, but one of my best tips for curling your lashes is to pulse the lash curler as opposed to just clamping it. When you pulse it, that will actually help the lashes to stay curled all day. I was actually doing that. So Amazing! Really Very the game. <laughs> so I'm going to have you open and look down to the ground.
Next, I'm gonna do some mascara. And after this, essentially your eyes will be done and then we're gonna move on to your brows. Okay. So I'm a big fan of mascara. I layer tons and tons, but mm -hmm. it's however much you like. So for during the day, we'll just do about two to three coats. So I like to come underneath and then I also like to come on top. So next we're gonna do the brows, which I feel are one of the most important part. I agree. Even for me, when I work out, I generally put on a little bit of concealer. I always fill in my brows and then a little bit of our tinted primer. What's nice about our brow pencil is that it's waxy, so it will stay on and it will last through sweat. So I'm using the medium shade on you. I like to twist it up so I have a little bit of room. And I'm basically just gonna paint into your eyebrows like little strokes of hair. So I have two more tricks to make them perfect. Ah. This is a brow highlighter, which I think is one of the most underrated pieces of makeup. Basically, it's like a fat crayon that I apply right underneath your brows. Mm -hmm. The purpose of this is it really helps to open up your eyes, and when you put matte underneath the eyebrows, it looks super chic. Whoa. And now I blend it with the same brush that we did for our concealer. And then last but not least for the brows is our high brow. So this is basically a tinted brow gel with fiber. So amazing when your eyebrow hairs get lighter if you naturally tint them, mm -hmm. or if anybody has gray or white brows in their brows, you can apply this and it will cover it up. So you just take the high brow and brush up and out. And now I'm gonna do my favorite step. So this is the G Beauty Tinted Primer. It's our best-selling product because it's so lifestyle. It's essentially a tinted moisturizer, a primer, an SPF 20, a highlighter. It has beautiful light coverage and it's so breathable. So you can absolutely wear this to the gym. You can wear it before a flight. You can wear it in the morning. You can wear it before you go out. And what I love is that it has the best lasting power so it will last you a full day. So I'm gonna use the medium on you, and for cleanliness, I like to apply it on this silver plate, which basically allows me to pick it up and not use my hands. And I'm going to use our best-selling Kabuki brush, which is a really nice flat, fat brush, so it will spread really easily. So we're gonna come back to our original piece, the Medium Peach Concealer, and this is what I do on everyone, so don't feel like it's a lot. I take it underneath the eye, out into your hairline. I come around the nostril. I come in the center of the chin, above your eyebrows, down the center of your nose. So the purpose of this is this is gonna highlight the center of your face, and then we're gonna come around with a little bit of powder to contour. So now we're blending with our contour and highlight brush, which is a fat, also a fat stumpy brush that allows us to have good pressure and also a lot of surface area at one time. It's never looked better. <laughs> so next we're gonna set your makeup. This is definitely an extra step, so it's not mandatory, but because you're so active and you're on the go, I always like to add a little powder so that the makeup will set and sit really nicely. So I'm taking our powder brush with the shade Sun Beige. This is essentially a close tone to your natural skin tone, mm -hmm. so it's not gonna be heavy or cakey. And I take this and I pat it into your face. Back with my dual action, this was the original eyeshadow that we used. We're gonna use this as your bronzer. So we're gonna take our fan brush, which is really nice and wide, and this will also allow us to do a really natural contour. So I'm taking the shade in 03. I'm coming across your forehead, up your cheekbones, into your jaw, and then into your head. Next, I'm gonna use our blush stick in Blush Beam. So this is really great. You can literally apply it in the car. You can take it right to the cheekbone. And when you apply your blush, everyone thinks that you wanna apply it here. Yeah. You actually wanna start in the middle of the cheek and again, come up into the hairline. That's gonna create a really soft contour. 
So even though it's a cream, I still apply it, blend it in with a blush brush because again, we don't wanna use our hands. And I just take it and almost blend up and down. So now I'm gonna apply our lip liner in Ballet, which is super natural. It will work with every single lipstick that you wear. This will help for the lipstick to stay on longer, and this will also give you a little bit of lip definition. Next, I'm gonna use our best-selling nude, which is called a G Thing. What's so amazing about our lipsticks is that they have vitamin E, so the lips don't have oil glands. So it's really important that you hydrate them and use nourishing oils, which our lipstick contains. And this is a beautiful nude that you can wear day to night. And next, I'm gonna finish you off with a clear gloss, which is also great to work out in. You can use this before bed as well to nourish your lips. Wow, I don't even recognize myself. Like I, you look, look like so you, good. It's fresh and glowing. And you can see how much blush makes a difference. It just mm -hmm. creates like a beautiful, youthful, energized look to your skin. The eyes are so manageable. They'll last you again day mm -hmm. to day. And the lip you can feel is so moisturizing. And that will really make your lips look really juicy. All right, guys, I feel like I'm a makeup expert now. You are. Thank you so much, Steph. And I, I feel like I learned not only about how to do my makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, but so much about skin and oils and everything. I feel like this was such an amazing lesson and I hope that you guys learned a lot too. If you had any questions about me or Steph, just always send us a message and reach us. Where can everyone find you? So you can find me at G Beauty Studio on Instagram or my personal is Steph G Beauty. And we're so excited. We're gonna be offering a discount code for all Kale and Crunches viewers. And um, you guys can enjoy and really feel our makeup, which I said is all mineral based. So really breathable. And just like you said, the skin, makeup, it's all connected. So it's really important that you invest in the right products for your skin. Amazing. Thank you so much.